Hi, this is Philip Byrne with Phonescoop.com, and today I'm looking at Google Earth, which was just released for the Google Android platform, mainly for the Google Nexus One, though if you've hacked your phone to use Android 2.1, you can probably have access to this app as well. Google Earth is available now in the app market, and it's a free download, just like it is on the Apple iPhone OS. Now, as you can see, Google Earth is nice and smooth, just like we'd expect. You get the cool fly-in features, and it really takes nice advantage of the Nexus One's hardware. It loads fairly quickly, though we're on a Wi-Fi network right now. You get the pinch and zoom capabilities. It's not the easiest app to control. We wish it was a little bit easier to control the, the 3D scrolling and panning, but otherwise it's very fun to use, and it's got some pretty cool features. There are a number of layers that you can access from Google Maps, such as Panoramio, which gives you local photographs of points of interest, as well as places, businesses, major roads, if you want to do some mapping of your own. And you can also search for locations. So here we'll search for something scenic, like the Matterhorn. And you can see Google Earth flying us into the mountain right there. Now some features that you don't get, you don't get the tilt and pan like you do on the iPhone. You also don't get to sign into your own Google account to view your own preset maps. But here in Panoramio you can look at pictures, and there's still a lot of fun to be had. So here is Google Earth, now available in the Android app market. And I'm Philip Byrne for PhoneScoop.